You asked, we listened. You wanted more involvement in fisheries management. We created new opportunities for you to have your say. Voices from across the supply chain have come together to shape the future of fisheries management. How? Through industry-driven management groups that promote collaboration between fishermen, policymakers, regulators and researchers. These forums include the Shellfish Industry Advisory Group, the SIAG is led by industry and oversees matters related to the management of shellfish stocks, the Crab and Lobster Management Group and Whelk Management Group, the CMG and WMG focus on crab, lobster and whelk stocks to ensure their long-term sustainability. The Finfish Advisory Group. The FIAG is a forum to discuss the sustainable management of UK non-quota finfish species. 375 of you engage in these industry-led groups this year. At the local level, the regional fisheries groups exist. The RFGs provide a forum for stakeholders to discuss local fisheries issues throughout the UK regions. Across 46 port visits, 250 fishers and industry representatives engage with the RFGs in 2023. Another big focus this year has been the development of fisheries management plans. FMPs are evidence-based action plans that detail how fishing is managed by stock, fishery or location. Developed with industry and other stakeholders, FMPs provide the framework to build and maintain sustainable fish and shellfish stocks. This summer, we travelled the coast seeking your views on the first six draft FMPs via public consultation. Let's head out to see where we've been. Amble, North Shield, Scarborough and Hull, Lowestoft and West Mercy, Weymouth, Poole, Rye and Folkestone, Peterhead and Whitehaven, Newlyn, Plymouth, Brixman, and Gosport, and we didn't stop there, Whitby and Bridlington, Ilfracombe, Padstow and Stokenham, Cromer and Shoreham by Sea. Over 350 of you took the time to speak to us. Fisheries management decisions are better informed by industry knowledge and experience. Thank you for your invaluable contributions as we look to the future of our inshore fisheries.